what's up YouTube? Today I find myself in a 328i, an E36, and I am with Andre. How's it guys? So Andre, uh, how long have you had the, the E36? Uh, November... No, oh, sorry, December, last, last year December will be 10, 9 years. That's a long time to be sticking with one car, especially like these days people chop and change cars like, like nothing. But then again, this is... Uh, in today's times, this is essentially a collector's item. Yes, like I said, it's over twenty, just over twenty years now, and yeah, I keep my hand on it every day. So, like, yeah, you can see from the uh, the cinematic shots that we took that um, this car is extremely well kept. Like every last thing is in place. Every turning left, here, right? Yes. Every last beading is there. Um, the paintwork is immaculate, and then on top of that, you have. The soft top, you can obviously go drop top, and then you've got the hard top. And like I was saying to you when uh, when you uh, mentioned the hard top, um, it's not easy to find <laughs> all of them all together, if you know what I mean. True, true. So, I was looking for the hard top for like three years. Jesus. Yeah, you mentioned that obviously the hard top didn't come with this car, and you had to obviously get it yourself. So I'm switching to the middle lane right now. Uh, people will allow me that is. Um, yeah, no. Uh, for me personally, this is a special video because the E36 and the E30 for me are probably two of the most. How can I put this? That's the, the two BMWs which have always sticked out for me the most. The two series of BMWs, if I can put it that way, that have always sticked out the most for me. And uh, I was just saying to my cousin a couple of days back that I wouldn't mind getting myself an E30 or an E36 just to go sliding around it for no other reason. <laughs> and then also just like, um, I love the straight six sound that you get out of these uh, 3 yes. to 8s, even from stock. Yes. They're really nice cars. Um, so on that point, like, what's it like to drive the car like on a daily basis? You see, for me, uh, the car is very heavy on shoes. Okay. okay. And I stay 1.2 kilometers from work, so I don't really care about petrol. This is my almost like a weekend car. It's my like everyday car, but mostly on weekends I take it up for a nice drive. And it is a bit low, yeah. and you get a bit of a hard drive, but it sits on the corners if you want to go around on a pass or something. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. just about to say now another thing you would have picked up from those uh, from the cinematic shots is just how low this car is. It's ridiculously low, and you were saying this is the highest you can turn it up. It's actually the highest. Yes. That's insane, and then like um. Yeah, for me, it's been quite a long time since I've been in a car this low. So it is a bit of a, an adjustment. And yeah, you do feel it bouncing around. Um, but even with even with a bit of bounce and with the car being so low, it's still extremely comfortable. And that is just, I guess, German engineering at the at the end of the day. Yeah. That's right, yes. So like BMW, uh, how long have you been in the BMW game? You say you had this one for nine years. This one, nine years. And, uh... E46 just before this one, uh, the E36 before that one, and my first one was the E30 that I had almost about another eight, nine years. So yeah. I'm about 22 years in the BMW. So you, you born and bred BMW yes. this. <laughs> full, full blooded. Also, the reason why I like the BMW and specifically the two doors, my uh, E30 was a four door, but it had big doors. You see, for me being in a wheelchair, getting the, uh, the, the wheelchair in the car. With two doors is much yeah, better. Yeah, the than doors are obviously short there. Yes, that's right. So that's another it upside. It just makes it comfortable for me. You say that, eh? I always say to my wife, like for a long time now, we've had coupes. So she has the 86, and then I have the 135, and before that, we had some other coupes as well. Yes. And um, as much as I love them for the look, sometimes the doors annoy me for when we parked in a tight space. That's the only problem, <laughs> yes. I yeah, know. So this video is being recorded uh, on the same day as uh, Yudrik's video. You drift. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to have my uh, tank uh, cut off there. <laughs> yeah, I know. And, and I was saying in that video that like big ups to, to Yudrik because he's been connecting me with so many guys in the car community. So it yeah, really uh, helps. Uh, yeah, actually, so how long do the two of you know each other? Uh, I met him about, I think it's almost two years now. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you mentioned that the two of you guys have done a lot of stunts, uh, shows together. So, yes. Yeah. This car is so neat. 
I'm gonna take a gamble and say probably one of the neatest E36s I've seen in a long time. And the interior is super nice as well. I've always loved how BMW does like this bray, beige or sometimes the off-white uh, yes. interior. Yes. Um, and then obviously with, with like my model, so we got the Oxblood, which is also very really nice. That's a nice cover, yeah. yes. I love that cover. But on the, especially on the older models, I love the, the cream interior. Yes. Like the beige basically. Beige, it's super yeah. nice. And so you've had the car for you said nine years. Yeah. So I don't think that I can ask this question to anybody better than you right now. What's the car like in terms of maintenance? To be honest with you, the engine was never opened yet. Okay. Uh, she go for service every year. If I do 500 k's or 5,000 k's, she will go for service. Okay. And that's plugs, oil, oil filters, everything I do, change everything. And I got actually got the car on 150,000 kilometers. Um, that was nine years ago. 152,000 kilometers on. I don't know if you want to read on the speedometer what's it on exactly. now. In nine years, 195,000, 4,000, 95,000. Sorry. So yeah, you've barely been driving the car then. Like I say, it's a weekend <laughs> car. First, first of all, I went on a lot of show and shines. Okay. And. Day is just too long from eight o'clock there till five o'clock the evening in the sun. Nowadays I do a lot of breakfast runs and stands. Yeah, breakfast runs are awesome because you get you get the taste of all of them. Like, That's correct. Yes, you um, see all the nice cars together. And you, you go get on the drive. road. You connect with the guys. That's actually much better than the show and shine. For me. Yeah, but the show and shine for me it can be a bit draggy because basically you just walk out and after a certain amount of time you've seen everything. You've seen everything and then you have to wait till the end. So yeah, with the with the runs you get the you get a bit of scenery, a change of scenery constantly because you're moving from one point to another. So that's always fun. I know also with my car if I want to go into like the manual version. Of the sport i just like click into sport or whatever mm. so how would i do that or can you explain to us how we would do that in a car like basically this? we do have the sport mode economic mode everything here so we can try it now when we go into the n1 okay you can put it into sport mode and you can just so which one is sport because like i'm saying <laughs> okay so you click it up into sport yeah, and, then, and then back it's uh, to press it down it's a normal economic mode again okay like and i said so, the car doesn't have a lot of power yeah. It's like uh, 142 kilowatts and about 280 Newton. Look, at, like saying that it doesn't have a lot of power, we need to put it into context. Like, That's it doesn't have a lot of power by today's standards, perhaps. But yeah. if you look at the time that the car came from, 142 kilowatts was. It's not too bad, energy. yes. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, yeah, like I say, um, if I ever got myself an E36 or an E30, it would have been for, like I said, for sliding around in. That's and um, that's uh, more than enough power to do that, if you know what I mean. Yes. You don't need crazy power to go um, to have fun. And it's the same thing that I was saying with the with the eighty six video that I did. Like, mm -hmm. power isn't everything in a car. At the end of the day, it's not. It's, it's the complete driving experience that matters. And so when correct. you can when you can enjoy driving a car, like, like I said, this car drives so smooth. And like just the whole appeal, you see this thing driving up into. I think this car turns way more heads than my car. <laughs> yeah, because when we were cruising up and I was following you along from my side, I was like, my goodness, this car looks sick. <laughs> it looks so nice. Uh, thanks a lot. And then also the fact that you can switch between like we driving with the hot top now and yes. we have a reason why we're driving with the hot top yeah because otherwise there would be too much wind noise and stuff it but does. i mean if you wanted to go for a nice cruise with the top down you have that option i think that's pretty damn awesome. just a press of a button it's up or down yeah and um, 142 kilowatts like i said from its time that's that's pretty decent because if you think of it the 125 i suppose would be the modern day equivalent or I wouldn't say one two five because this is a three series. So yeah. I'd say the three two five would be the modern day equivalent of yes. the three twenty eight i. And um, if you look at that, that's naturally aspirated, making one sixty kilowatts. So in that big jump, mm -hmm. those many years later, it's not a lot more power that you're squeezing out. Yeah. So I'm gonna switch lanes if I get a chance. <laughs> There's so much traffic today. Ah, I, I guess I've been unlucky lately with the days that <laughs> I've chosen to um, to record. You know what's interesting? I used to say this uh, to my friends, like Sunday driving over the years have changed. Like a Sunday was always the perfect day for car guys because those yes, were empty. Those were empty, but not now. Like These days people work seven days a week. Yeah, but no company. Hey? Two cars when you come in. Yeah. Okay, so 
How do I activate this board now again? I flick that up. If I get a space there. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. So Sunday driving has changed because now people work seven days a week. And so because people work on a Sunday. Yes. Yeah. It's frustrating. It's a nice bit of build up. So obviously this is in a, there's no waiting for turbos and things like that. Uh, just there's a the kick uh, at, the, at the bottom of the thing, so if it kicks in, it will kick down it will basically. Kick down, yeah. it's right I felt that, so I had a bit of the jump. So yeah, yeah that's obviously stayed, um, like I have that in mind as well. Yeah. The little, feels like a little button basically like underneath the pedal. Oh, small, small turbo boost. <laughs> yeah, I actually like that, that sensation that it gives you because um, obviously if I was driving a manual car, I'd have to do that myself. Yes. Kick in the clutch and then drop a gear, whereas here you just like put your foot down and then it will kick yeah, down for you. Right. And it's fun. So yeah, it, like you said, it's not the most powerful thing in the world, but it gets the job done also yes, at the end of the day. The and job. you get to enjoy the drive. And like I said, like with Udrich's car, yeah, why do I keep on saying Udrich? <laughs> Udrich. With Udrich's car, um, some people are in the game for the looks and for the stunts. Some people are in the game for power. Some yes. people are in the game for both. Your car, it doesn't have a ridiculous, oh, a ridiculous <laughs> that low sensation there. It doesn't have a ridiculous amount of power, but it's got that stance yes. and it's got a really nice look to it. And like I said, you can cruise around and it's still a fun car to drive. That's right, yeah. So, is there anything um, you'd like to, to share or, or is there anything you, you feel people should know about like what it's like to own an E36 or, or, or about this car in general? Well, with me driving now three, four different BMWs, I prefer this one, uh, the E36. It, as long as it's not a 318, <laughs> no power, no power. Then, <laughs> then this car is actually a, for me personally a daily runner. Yeah, I don't have to. Okay, it's a, it's it's a bit heavy on juice, like I said earlier. But for me, that doesn't drive so far every day to work or so. Um, it's perfect, and on the on, on the runs, I do get a lot of time to put foot down, and I think she's smiling every time I go out on a weekend. Yeah. So yeah, the power is there for me. If I can pass it. I can go in. Yeah, she's picking up nice. She's picking up nice. Yeah. Oh wow, that's cool. Still got nice pull for its age. Eh? <laughs> See what we are now. 180. 180, nice. Here comes the rain. Ah, <laughs> what great timing. <laughs> I know the scope is really nice. And like, you know, for me, sometimes I feel like I'm spoiled because of the amount of power that I'm pushing on that side. So when I do drive something, like I don't get to feel the full rush, but that's not to say that these cars aren't fast. Yes. They're still quite powerful. And then they're not a toy man. I think the most important thing with any car is respecting the power. That's right. And like I said, with a rear wheel drive, it's not so easy to keep on the corners. <laughs> but with lowering the car, it sits like glue. Like glue. As I was going to say now, so we did, we spoke about this. So obviously, you've got the coiler was in it. Like you've got that old stance vibe going and it looks really nice. Um, you did mention that at the moment you haven't done performance, which I think is insane. Um, like, how can I say? You don't find these cars with stock, stock with, yeah. Stand so that's <laughs> a big ups to you on that. Um, but uh, do you have any plans for later on? I'm thinking of putting a unit chip in, okay. Um, and free flow the exhaust if I can get a company that can do can get me the right sound because yeah. I went to two places, I'm not going to mention names, but they told me I'm they were straight to me. They said, no, I'm not going to do it because you're not going to get the sound that you want, yeah. Yeah, it's not simple. Sometimes with BMWs, you, you get that thinny kind yes, of raspy sound, and that's yes. not the. That's the thing, I don't want that. With my E30, I had a very nice sound, but that's a different motor than this one. But they're still they're super awesome cars. I love the look, man. And that's another yes. thing I like about this car. Those sharp lines that you don't get in a modern car, you won't find another a, a modern car made today that has that sharp lines and still looks this good. Yes. Everything is all curved out and... Oh. and like I said, with the roof is down, it's just get, it's like running it's forward, it's slicked yeah. straight down. That's why I, I don't want to put a spo um, boot spoiler on. 
Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna look right. It's not gonna fit. It's a bit tricky when you have the the soft top and yes. the roof is down. Like with the hard top version of these, it's it's a bit simpler. Yes, it will be. Yeah. Just like on that, like I actually, I feel like I should have done my work on this, but so this is also coded as an E36. E36, yeah. Okay, because I know like with the modern day versions, mm -hmm. they um they have different codes for like the the cabriolet. So yeah, I think uh, we got enough for today. Yeah, it was really nice meeting much. you, and thanks for the opportunity to drive this really awesome car. <laughs> uh, I think I need to be getting myself <laughs> an, an E36. That's a toy you can. Yeah, to play around with. Play around with. Right. Yeah, it was really nice meeting you, bud. Thanks and uh, thanks to all of you. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to. <laughs>